Hey, hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another benchmarking video on Linux. This time around I'm showcasing War Thunder, which is a free-to-play game on Steam. And as you can see, I'm showing you graphical differences, which there should be none. I actually had to change the, uh, the ter terrain deformation and the tire tracks on Windows, because there was a very high option on Windows where there wasn't on Linux, just to make it so it was equal. And... The great thing about War Thunder is it has a lot of benchmarking options, so there's actually quite a lot of benchmarks to choose from, and I decided to choose from two of them. So this one is a plane battle, or as you can see right there, um, where it uses quite a few stills, and which is quite weird. Uh, quite a weird way to benchmark. So there's no moving objects. Uh, whereas the next one is a tank battle, but it's CPU controlled, so it's actually moving and lots of explosions and stuff. And... The Windows driver I'm using is 372.70 and the Linux driver is 370.28. So the latest drivers at the time of recording the videos. And as you can see, Windows already has an advantage. As I said on the last F, uh, benchmarking video, uh, which was the F1 2015 video, I'm not too sure why you guys uh, usually like these videos because Linux doesn't usually do as well. Um, but either way, the frame rate currently is quite good. That's, that's oh wait, actually, for one second there, the frame rate was better on Linux. <laughs> Gotta pick out the positives, guys. Gotta pick out the positives. But, yeah, so... This is probably isn't the best benchmark. It's really the best, the best one's the next uh, one. But like I say, the frame rate is... It is good. Like, on either of the operating systems, I mean, anything over... For me, over 144 is great because I have 144 hertz monitors. So anything above that is great, and I was hitting that all the time. And so we'll look at the so the average FPS on Linux is 154, and on Windows, which for some reason I wasn't showing, great editing there, Jake, is 222, which is a massive difference to be honest. That's uh, about 70 FPS difference, which is quite a big difference. Uh, but like I said. Anything over 60 FPS for anyone else is good because they can lower the settings. There's a lot of graphical settings on War Thunder, which was uh, really good for it, to be honest. And as a, what I didn't actually mention as well, as you can see in the top right, uh, top left corner of the Windows version, it's using DirectX 11, whereas obviously the War Thunder version on Linux will be using OpenGL, I assume. And as you can see, the oh, it's quite a big difference. So I'm just curious as to whether the uh, there is an OpenGL version of War Thunder on Windows, which would be quite nice to showcase and see if that works. And um, it would be nice if they could somehow get oh, <laughs> DirectX working on Linux, but uh, <coughs> Vulcan. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's a much better. Uh, benchmark to use because there's a lot of moving objects and explosions and stuff and that is the end of that benchmark the average FPS on Linux was 82.4 with minimal of 65 which isn't too bad but as you can see Windows again with 40 FPS plus differences oh no it's 38 all right math mathematics wasn't my strongest choice uh, but yeah, anyway, it's not great for Linux. Uh, I might do a couple more of them in the future. I think if War Thunder has a OpenGL option, I'd like to see the differences then, if, if Linux actually is quite close to that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that benchmarking video. It wasn't great for Linux, but either way, we're getting there. We'll get there, hopefully. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate and subscribe for future Linux content, and peace out. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.